you to think about the foods that you're afraid to keep in the house or things that you don't trust yourself with. Perhaps they're things that once you start eating them, you can't stop. Maybe they're things that call to you from your kitchen. Let's take a moment to notice some themes about these foods. And the specific foods will be a little bit different for everyone, but in my experience, they are almost always the foods that you have told yourself you can't have, that you weren't supposed to have on certain diets, and the foods that you've labeled as bad or unhealthy in your mind. Those are the foods that you feel guilty for eating, and those are the foods that you are infinitely more likely to overeat or binge on. And a lot of times it's the things that diet culture tells us are bad, things like chocolate, cookies, ice cream, candy, chips, crackers, crackers, bread, pasta, pizza, things like that. And it's common for people to think that maybe they're even addicted to these foods. And I can promise you that you can learn to de-charm these foods. You can learn to keep these foods in the house and you can learn to eat them without binging on them and without going overboard. There is a middle ground with this. You just have to trust yourself and trust the process of working these foods back in and changing the way that you're thinking about and labeling them in your mind. 